picture Los Angeles. What do you see? Home of taco trucks and sunshine. Home of the Lakers and honestly more traffic than we know what to do with. Your favorite movie star driving right past you. California love. A vibrant and diverse array of Angelinos, but you know what you may not think of? Oil wells. Next to the airport. By your kid's school in your own backyard. The Inglewood oil field, just one of the oil fields in LA, takes up more space than you can imagine. It's the largest urban oil field in the entire United States. I'm Kieran Deal. I'm a Los Angeles-based writer and comedian. I will be with you through the next few episodes, talking with residents who live near oil wells, sitting with medical professionals who have studied the health impacts of oil and gas pollution, and learning about solutions from the latest monitoring technology. The fossil fuel industry played a huge role in Los Angeles' early development. But those were different times. Oil was easy to access, and there was a huge separation between oil producing zones and residential neighborhoods. These days, over 3,500 oil wells sit side by side with Los Angeles' dense population of more than 10 million. Nearly 600,000 people live within just a half mile of an active oil well in LA. 62,000 households sit alarmingly close to operations, and of those people, over 70% identify as a person of color. Pollution from oil and gas facilities include chemicals that, after prolonged exposure, can cause cancer. It can also further deteriorate California's already poor air quality and leak compounds like methane that really do contribute to climate change. And many households in close proximity to oil wells are located in low-income neighborhoods that have less access and resources to handle the health impacts that come along with exposure to this pollution. While we're on our way to cleaner energy, oil and gas are still widely used. So if we can't stop producing it yet, we should monitor pollution and develop real data on human exposure and environmental impact, right? For environmentally focused groups like the Environmental Defense Fund, one of the goals is to create a widespread system that can collect real-time pollution data 24-7. We provide solutions for monitoring, constant monitoring of, of gas, mm -hmm. you know, hydrocarbon-based gases for the oil and gas industry. Every day, communities are working closely with environmental groups and nonprofits to build momentum and solve this issue. We want answers. My neighbors want answers. The community wants answers. I want answers. I want to know what exactly is going on with the oil fields next door. We're working with politicians to change current policy and educating and empowering communities with tools to stay safe. The monitoring technology exists, and we want to make sure that more people than ever have the resources and knowledge to know how to implement it. Currently, the Inglewood oil field has only one monitor. So it's not until you place continuous monitoring that you actually can say this is the exposure in an area. Monitoring our pollution and curbing oil and gas emissions is vital for our own health and for the health of our planet. There's evidence, scientific evidence, that people who live close to an oil field, especially one with older oil wells, are more prone to diseases, and not just cancer, respiratory illnesses, heart disease. There are a whole, there's a whole laundry list. I think a 24-hour monitoring system on each well would probably be a good thing. I think the monitoring would be beneficial and probably give us all peace of mind. And uh, that would just be the right thing to do. It's an opportunity that we can't afford to miss.